All right, I've been wanting to make this video for a little while, ever since Abby Cox uh, talked about jersey combinations looking like weird sex suits, and uh, someone on a Facebook group asked about how combinations work. So I love combinations. I think they're super comfortable, um, and especially if you're going to be wearing anything like skirts that are at least your knee length, um, they work great. Uh, so. I figured I would give like a kind of tour of the combinations that I wear and find the most comfortable. So jump cuts, <laughs> starting with um, one of the first pairs that I made. Um, they're really comfy. They're very plain. They were made out of an old duvet cover. Um, let me show you how they fit. All right, first thing, obviously I'm wearing things over yoga clothes because um, these are underwear and I guess I can't get away with that uh, without having foundations underneath. The most important part being that these are split drawers. Um, most of them are. So um, they have a little modesty placket that keeps it from being too, uh, too bad, but um, they separate, which means that I am not about to go showing those off to the internet without leggings on. Um, so if anyone has any questions, because it did come up uh, in a post I shared somewhere else, um, no, you don't wear leggings under your split drawers. Um, feel free to look for information on those. These were the first pair that I made from this pattern. Um, so they don't line up properly and, um, I tend to wear, uh, all of my button front combinations just as their own support garments, um, without a corset or anything, just under regular clothes. So, uh, the darts here support my bust, um, and I find them really comfy. Um, these are a little bit long for wearing with anything other than a knee length skirt, um, but they work nice. Now let's see the fancier pair. So these are one of the cutest things I've ever made, um, also from the same duvet cover, including the lace um, that I added for trim and for the uh, straps. Um, obviously not perfect fit on the straps, but that's fine, they don't need to be. Um, then they have a cute little ribbon on detail on the legs as well as on the top. Um, and I love the fit of these. They're really comfy and they're just super cute. And it's nice to know that I am adorable underneath my outside layers. Um, so same kind of trim, um, same dart supports under the bust. Um, pretty much the exact same design. Uh, I think the design comes from, um, manual of cutting out. I don't know. I'll find it. But uh, yeah, fits great. These are two piece combinations um, where the the bust is one set and then they're just drawers on the bottom. Uh, this is important for me because I am one size for the top and a completely different size for the bottom. So when I first tried making combinations that were all one piece um, out of a regular woven material, I found that um, they were just too, too tight in the hip. So not combinations, but out of the same duvet, I also made a um, pair of drawers that doesn't fit quite as tidily and a chemise that I can't find, but this is my support chemise that um, is just done in a princess cut, which is totally not uh, the Victorian silhouette, but that's fine because I'm usually not wearing a corset to give me proper shape under this or over this, but uh, 
these have a drawstring which tends to shift very far open and move everything around but um, are otherwise really comfy and really cute. So also Shark Week combinations. Like I said, I wear these pretty much all the time um, and I got tired of staining them. So I decided to make a pair that I'm allowed to stain. Um, I do need to fix the button placket in the front at some point. And um, I'm really pleased though, because this was my foray into making buttons. So, you know, why not? And now we come to the purpose of this. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you how these ones go on because they're different. They don't have a button and they are way more comfortable under a corset. Um, Abby Cox did a video about uh, knit combinations that um, are more comfortable under a corset because you don't have those buttons digging in. I don't usually find the buttons to be too much of a problem, but I cannot deny how comfy these are. However, they don't go on like usual, so they have to be made out of a jersey material. So, you have to step into them. And it is vital to not have hips too, too wide so that you can get them over your hips and not have a neckline that's too wide. Thankfully, my shoulders are small. So I didn't have to do anything funny about the cut. Um, they're just really comfy, and it's uh, what Abby Cox describes as a, uh, I think, a weird sex suit. Um, it's not incorrect. It looks like a really unflattering jumper, and I love it. They're super comfy. They're not as supportive because they don't have the woven um, tension uh, through the underbust, but also very comfortable to wear uh, under a corset, so that works. Um, and then the last set are also uh, knit, but not for support and also not to be worn against the skin. So I live in Canada um, and I watched a video from a wonderful lady, Karolina Zabrowska, in Poland um, where the temperatures don't drop quite as low as they do in my part of the world and this winter was kind of chilly for a while so I wanted to make um, my version of the wool combinations that she briefly talks about um, in one of her videos and so I made them out of uh, merino jersey and they have an unreasonable number of buttons to close them on the front. Um, takes a little bit longer than I like to do in the morning but it works. Um, and these get worn over top of my uh, other combinations, my stockings and um, any corset that I'm wearing. Uh, so they're not meant for support and they're also, other than the arms, not really meant to go against my skin so I don't have to worry about the wool getting dirty as well as these are the only ones that weren't made out of an old bed sheet or duvet cover. So there's that. Um, these underneath a uh, blouse and a wool jacket did me for minus 30 um, pretty well. So I have no complaints about them. They are very comfy um, and are the only pair that I have with sleeves. Um, otherwise they're the same pattern more or less as the gray ones underneath, um, which is rather than uh, having a separate waist, I just um, had faith in the knit uh, material to stretch and give me enough give around my hips and uh, backside. <laughs> um, but otherwise, they're really comfy and I'm now really warm because May, even in Canada, is uh, warmer than February was. Thank you again, friends. Uh, I hope that this helps to show what combinations um, can do. Not all combinations are a split drawer, 
I just happen to find them the most comfy, um, but there are lots of other styles that uh, you can really easily find in old sewing manuals. Um, otherwise, have a good night. Happy stitching.